on their old age, that's what I learned when I was in school, but apparently now we do solid tasks. The first thing we need to do when we have a triangle like this is work out, well, which one am I doing? Am I doing sine, cosine, or tan? Sine, cos, tan. Here's my angle. I look, and I can see that I've got the hypotenuse, and this one is next to the angle. So here's opposite, this is next. So this one's next to, so I've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So I have to have a look which one has adjacent and hypotenuse. I go Socrates here, so it's cos has adjacent and hypotenuse. Can't always hide as adjacent and hypotenuse, so I'm going to be using my cos ratio this time. So I start with my rule, we use that funny theta one, so cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. They're the little know, abbreviations that we use. So now I sub in what I know. So I go, well, my angle is 42 degrees, so it becomes cos 42 degrees. The adjacent one I don't know, so it stays at x. So my hypotenuse is 8. Now here we go back to what we've always been talking about as isolating my variable. I want to know what x is. So how do I figure out what x is? Well at the moment, I've got to get rid of what's next to it, or what's with it. So at the moment I've got divided by 8, the opposite of divided by 8 is times by 8. So I'm going to multiply that side by 8. My golden rule says, if I multiply this side by 8, I multiply this side by 8. So these ones cancel out, so here I'm left with x, here I'm left with cos 42, cos 42 times 8. Now, with my calculator, how good can I do this, who knows, I get there and I just go cos 42 times 8 equals. So I get my answer there, 5.945, so I'm going to round that to two decimal places. X becomes 5.95. There's our cost. Now I'm going to move on to my second one. Again, first step, let's figure out which of my ratios am I going to use, sine, cos, tan. So here, I know I've got my hypotenuse again. So I know it's going to be either hags or height. But I look across and instead of next to, now my X is opposite. So I need to find my O. So here it is, O and H. Again here, if I'm using Socrates, O and H. So this time I'm going to use sine. So sine of the angle equals sum of X, sine, opposite, hypotenuse. So again I'm going to sub in what I know. So sine of 42 is my angle, the opposite. I'm not sure what that is, that's still X. So a hypotenuse, however, is 20. Same process as before. I want X on its own, so I need to multiply this side by 20. Therefore, I multiply this side by 20. This side I'm left with X. This side, I've got sine 42 times 20. Okay? Uh, yeah. Then, <laughs> then I just go sine 42 times 20, and I've got 13.38. So here, x equals 13.38. Lucky last, my tangent. We assume it's going to wait at night. So I have a look. Here I've got opposite, and I've got the adjacent. I don't know what my hypotenuse is. So opposite and adjacent, O and A, they're all age. Toa, I've got my opposite and adjacent. So I'm going to be using my tan. So tan of my angle equals opposite over uh, adjacent. I suck my values. Tan of 35 equals x over 12. Multiply both sides by 12 to get my x on its own. Tan of 35 times 12. And again with my calculator, just as before. 10, 35 times 12 equals, and I'll go with 8.4 for this one. Okay, that's good. Now, 
I just want to see what the voice sounds like now. Bye.